first question is two's complement of the binary number 00010110. So for finding the two's complement, we have to find one's complement, and after that we have to add one. There is a shortcut for finding two's complement. That is, write the number from the right side till first one comes. Okay. Let us see. From the right side, the first digit is zero. So write zero. After that, one. So write one. Okay. We got a one here. After that, invert every number. Okay. So after the one, there is a one. So invert it. Zero. There is a zero. Write it as one. There is a one, write it as zero. There is a zero, write it as one. There is a zero, write it as one. There is a zero, write it as one. So this will be the two's complement of the given binary number. One, 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 zero, one, zero, one, zero. Option B is the correct answer. So for finding two's complement, use the shortcut always. That is, write the number from the right side till we get a one. After the one, invert every numbers. Okay. Next question. In the following logic gates, which cannot be used as an inverter? So from the option, it is clear that NOT gate is an inverter. There is universal gates which are NAND gates and NOR gates. With these universal gates, we can construct every gates, especially inverters. So NOT gate, NAND gate and NOR gates can be used as an inverter. But AND gate cannot be used as an inverter because AND gate is AND gate. So here the correct option is option B. Next question. According to distributive law, according to distributive law, from the option, the correct expression for distributive law is option B. That is A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. Next question. For the full adder, determine the output for the input A equal to 1, B equal to 0 and carry in equal to 1. Okay. So we have to find the output of the full adder. Full adder means a circuit which can add 3 bits at a time. So we have to add 1 with the 0 with the 1. That is 1 plus 0 plus 1. We know 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Where 0 is the sum and 1 is the carry. Option B is the right answer. Sum equal to 0 with a carry of 1. Next, dash are universal gates. We know the universal gates are NAND and NOR gates because using these universal gates, we can construct every other gates. So NAND and NOR gates are known as universal gates. Next, which of the following is a quad 2 input AND gate? So from the option 7408 is the 2 input AND gate. Quad means there will be 4 gates in the IC. Okay, so in 7408 IC, there will be four two input AND gates. And 7400 is the NAND gate. 7432 is OR gate. 7486 is XOR gate. And there is one more gate that is 7402 that is NOR gates. Okay, and 7404 is NOT gate. Remember all these ICs. These are digital ICs. Next, the logic gate that will have high or 1 at its output when any of its input is high is a dash gate. So, if we are considering OR gate, consider the truth cable of OR gate. That is 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1. 1 0 is 1 1 1 is 1 so we can see its output is high when any one of its input is high okay in other case the output is 0 next dash will make an AND gate to produce high output we know for an AND gate there should be 1 1 to produce a 1 output in all other cases, we will get 0 as the output. 
that is if 0 0 is the input we will get 0 as the output if 0 1 is the input we will get 0 as the output 1 0 is input we will get 0 as output and if 1 1 is input we will get 1 so all input high makes an AND gate to produce a high output so correct option is option C next what is the use of flip-flop flip-flops are used to store binary information that is ones and zeros okay so flip-flop is used to store binary information option B is the correct answer next the ability of a circuit to tolerate noise without causing unwanted changes in the output voltage is known as noise immunity option A is correct next a full ladder circuit has we know for a full ladder circuit there will be three inputs and two outputs so from the option option B is correct three inputs and two outputs next which gates are ideal for checking the parity of a binary number because they produce an output one when the input has an odd number of ones so we have to get an output high when the input has odd number of ones so the correct answer is option c xor gate if we are considering the truth table of xor gate we will get 0 0 as 0 0 1 as 1 1 0 as 1 and 1 1 as 0 from this truth table it is clear that if the input is having odd number of ones here the input is having odd number of ones here also the input is having odd number of ones then we will get a high output okay in all other cases the output is low okay so option c is the correct one which circuit has two rays to n data input one data output and n control inputs that is multiplexer for a multiplexer for an example we can consider 4 by 1 multiplexer will be having 4 inputs and 2 control input or selection lines and 1 output. Okay, so if 2 is considered as n, it will be having 2 raised to n, that is 2 raised to 2, that is 4 inputs, 2 selection or control inputs and 1 output. So option A, multiplexer is the correct answer. Next which of the following statement is are correct about counters okay let us see first statement is in a synchronous counter every flip-flop is triggered by the clock parallel yes for synchronous counter it is right the clock is given as parallel the second statement in an asynchronous counter the clock is applied serially that is also a correct statement in asynchronous counter the clock is applied serially the third statement in synchronous counters are sorry the synchronous counters are also called as ripple counters that statement is a wrong statement because ripple counters are asynchronous counters so the correct option is option a that says statement 1 and 2 only are true okay so option a is correct next how many inputs are available in 7447 BCD to 7 segment decoder used to drive the LED display? The decoder is binary to 7 segment decoder. We know the binary codes are 4 in numbers. So 4 input will be given at the input and at the output we will get the corresponding digits in the display. So the correct answer is option C. Next. In logic circuits, whose output at any instant of time depends not only on the present input but also on the past outputs are called sequential logic circuit option T. That is the correct definition for sequential logic circuit. Next, in RS flip-flop, in RS flip-flop, if Q equal to 0, then the output is said to be. In flip-flops, if the Q output is 0, it is called as reset output if q is 1 it is called as set output so here the correct option is option d next a shift register is defined as correct answer is option c a shift register is the register capable of shifting information either to the left or to the right next 
a decade counter has dash states so a decade counter is capable of counting 10 states okay so option c is the correct answer next question in mod 10 counter how many flip-flops are cascaded so we know mod 10 counter is a decade counter so in decade counter for building decade counter we have to cascade four flip-flops so using four flip-flops we can count up to two raised to four states which are 16 states so using four flip-flops we can count 16 states in mod 10 counter we only need 10 states but if we are using three flip-flops we can only count two raised to three states that is eight states so for counting 10 states we have to use a four flip-flop counter okay so here the correct option is option b next the ascii code is ascii code is a seven bit code okay option b is the correct one next the binary equivalent of a16 is in the question actually they meant to determine the binary equivalent code for a hexadecimal code a so we know in hexadecimal system a represents 1010 and b represents 1011 and so on so a represents 1010 so option a is the correct one next by using boolean algebra a plus a complement equal to consider a s1 so from the expression a plus a complements means 1 plus 1's complement that is 0 we will get answer as 1 consider a as 0 so the expression will be a plus a complement that is 0 plus 0's complement is 1 then also we will get the same answer 1 so we can conclude a plus a a complement always gives the answer as 1 so option D is the correct one next in the truth table of JK flip-flop the condition J equal to K equal to 1 represents so J equal to K equal to 1 represents the state toggle if J equal to 0 we will get reset state if J equal to 1 we will get set state along with j if j equal to 0 k equal to 1 is called as reset if j equal to 1 k equal to 0 is called as set if j equal to 0 k equal to 0 we will get no change output and if j equal to 1 and k equal to 1 we will get toggle output next the basic building block of any counter is flip-flop option d